Well, good day, folks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the Beatles classic, Let It Be. This is, of course, a fantastic song, and it's a great tune to play on the guitar. This is a solo fingerstyle guitar arrangement, so we're going to cover the melody within the chords. So it's kind of all played within the one solo guitar piece. So that's the goal. It's mainly based around the chords C to G, A minor to F. And there's a few little turnarounds. Etc. So we're going to go through it all in this video. The song is of course from the Beatles 1970 final studio album and you know the new Get Back documentary directed by Peter Jackson is uh, fantastic and it's a wonderful insight into the Beatles creative process including them figuring this song out in the studio and recording it. So we're in standard tuning here and we're playing the song in the same key as the original. So I think that's kind of you know, a handy thing because you can play along with Paul McCartney singing it and try to get the phrasing close to him. So when I say we play the melody within the chords, that's going to sound a little like this if we take the verse. I have tab available for this arrangement. There's a link to the tab down in the video description. And I'm going to show you everything here as well. So we have the intro to begin with, and the intro sounds like this. And then we go into the verse. The sections of this song, by the way, is this intro, a verse, a chorus, and then there's a solo, which I play a little differently to the recording, but I'm going to show you kind of a nice way to play the solo, I think, and then the little turnaround that you all have heard already. So that's all there is to it. So that intro just goes from C to a G, and I'm playing that G with a thumb on the low E string, third fret, and we're hammering on from the first fret of the B string to the 3rd fret of the B string, with the pinky up there on the 3rd fret as well, on the high E. I think that's just a nice inversion. And then we go to A minor, and then we play this F with a suspended G there, suspended 2nd. And then we hammer on with the pinky, which we don't really hammer on. We just put the pinky there, <laughs> okay, on the 3rd fret of the B string. So it sounds like this. playing that F suspended chord with my thumb on the low E string, first fret. You can't really play that chord without using the thumb. It's just, that's such an awkward position if you try to do it with the finger. So I think it's really worth using your thumb. You know, when we use the thumb to play an F chord, we have the fingers up top can play all kinds of things. It's really handy. So I'm a big fan of using the left hand thumb. However, if you're playing classical style, it's going to be a little uncomfortable because the wrist will be in a different angle. But if you're playing kind of informal position like this, then I think using the thumb can, can be really great. So that intro once more. Repeat the C to G. And then this little mini turnaround. So that's just going F. 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 1st fret, 1st fret on the top 4 strings and then top 4 strings of a C 2nd fret, open, 1st fret, open pinky pinky 3rd fret, 3rd fret on the D and B strings resolving to a C chord and then we go into the verse so the verse sounds like this. And then 
So we have the melody. And that all fits within the chords. So I think the first step I'd recommend is just spelling that melody out within the chords. And to do that with this C chord, where we begin, I think it's nice to play the C with that fingering. So I'm using the pinky to play the third fret of the A string. And that frees up the ring finger, because normally you'd play a C like that, right? But we're playing it with the pinky, so we can use the ring finger to play that melody within it. So you might start off with going to a G. Walking up, first fret to the third fret of the second string. A minor, melody's on the high E, pinky comes down, and then we do this F suspended chord again, going D, C, C with the melody third fret to the first fret. So that all together is... high E for the melody within a C chord and then the first finger comes down here and plays that F note it's kind of an awkward shape but we don't have to hold it for very long it just goes so the melody is E E F E E D and the D is played within the G chord it's going to take you a while to get you know the, a, a flow going here you really have to just work at, at spelling it out and learning where the melody is. And, you know, when learning a tune like this, you break it down into sections. You say, okay, there's the verse, there's the chorus. Those are the two main sections. So I'm going to take the first week to learn the verse. And then, you know, I'll take a week to learn the chorus. And the chorus is shorter, so it won't take you that long. Um, but it really takes a while to, to piece it together like that. So we have so far... <laughs> do this walk down which Paul does on the piano F E D C and so when I'm playing this song I'm trying to be expressive and I'm trying to just articulate the melody and keep the song grooving I'm not really thinking about the exact patterns I'm playing or anything like that really I'm just trying to play you know, m music and have it flow and feel good. So like I said, there's tab attached down down below and you can see, you know, exactly what, what I'm playing. But like I said, the first step I think is just to spell the melody out within those chords. And I do a few little slides like that. I just like the way they sound and feel, but they're not necessary. I know they're a little bit, it's a little bit of a handful to go. <laughs> So we've learned the verse. That's the verse. The chorus goes like this. And you notice the end of the chorus is within the verse. So it's quite repetitive. But we go down to A minor. Anticipate that melody. The melody is high E, pinky on the third fret of the B string, down to a C on the first fret of the B string. 
and then we play the A minor chord, so it's... Well, it's A minor 7, actually. And then we come up here. So we go A minor 7, and the pinky slides from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret. And then we play the 3rd finger, sorry, the 3rd fret, 1st finger on the high E. Hammering on. play a G with the thumb letting all those beautiful open strings ring out so we play the A minor G down to F so that's G, G, sliding down to C. And then we play A, G, high E. Second fret, open, high E. So we have so far in the chorus. that little turnaround that's in the verse so that's really the essential elements of the song you know the solo is kind of pretty similar to the verse melody um, and the little turnaround is is quite simple I'll show you that next but let's just talk about how to get the verse and the chorus to kind of flow and not just be like the, the chords spelled out. So if I was to kind of get it, try, to, try to get it to flow, it might sound like this. So essentially what I'm doing there is I'm not really doing a slap on the backbeat, which you'll hear a lot of fingerstyle players go a... They kind of backbeat. But I am kind of doing a strum occasionally on the backbeat. And I say the backbeat, I mean the two and the four. So... just feeling that backbeat and accenting it accenting it a little bit when I kind of strum a chord so that way you can kind of feel the groove within what I'm playing but it's not so in your face as like a slap or something because that I don't think that's kind of you know the way I feel this this song so um, from there we, we've played the verse and the chorus the little turnaround I'll show you that real quick because it's quite easy That's just F, C, just on the top four strings of the guitar. And then this is the same as the end of the intro that we already learned. So F, C, F and D played together. C. And then we play a B flat. I know that's a nasty bar chord. Everyone hates bar chords, <laughs> including me. <laughs> but we don't have to play it for very long. We go F. Sorry, B flat, and then we play an F with an A in the bass. Some people play that as A minor. I, I like it as F. F, C, D. Well, F, C, that's kind of a D minor. But we're playing an F and a D to C, and then B flat. F with an A in the bass. G, 
F, C. Once more. And you'll notice when I play chords like that, sometimes I'm doing a little... I'm not just playing... real stiff like that. You know, I do a little bit of a, a roll. Which just gives the piece a little bit of, you know, flavor and musicality, I think. And I like to practice that. I just kind of go like that. There we go. So we've learned the verse, well, we've learned the intro, the verse, the chorus, and the turnaround. So what's left is the solo. The, the structure, by the way, is intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and the second verse is, is very similar to the first. We add this little... But that, that's the only thing that, that's different. I'll, I'll show you that really quick. And then the rest is the same. I will say the melody sometimes goes, and sometimes it goes, instead of going, it goes, just depending on the way Paul phrases the vocal. So it's nice to kind of follow that on the guitar. But that little stop goes, so we have the pinky up there on the A. And if, if, you, if you don't like that reach going to the low F, it's kind of a bit of an awkward shape. Um, you can just play it. Um, where are we? <laughs> you can just play that. So we're going A. Sliding up to that E note, fifth fret of the B string, and then doing a little hammer on, slide, resolve into the C. But little sections like that are not, you know, imperative to the song, just a nice little flourish. So let's talk about the solo now. So the solo sounds like this, at least the way I play it. So, it's kind of inspired by what George Harrison played on the recording, but his uh, version of the, you know, his solo, I shouldn't say version, he's the guy that played the solo. You know, it's, it's got a lot, of, a lot of electric guitar-isms. There's some bends and slides and things that, you know, if you try to do those on the acoustic guitar, it just doesn't really work. I got pretty heavy strings on here, and uh, I prefer to take a bit of a different approach with it. So, what I'm doing is... Kind of heading into that power chord with a little run. And that's just G, A, C, D, C. And then we go up to this G, G chord with a B note in the bass. So that's 5th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret. And then a B note played with the middle finger here on the low E string. We go E, G, and then a little hammer on slide, and then 
we come up here, sliding up to an E and a G, and then we pull off. I'll draw a little quicker through this because this solo is quite advanced and obviously anyone following along is going to be a more advanced player. So we have... So we have the A in the bass there. And then F suspended. And there's a the little hammer on lick there. That kind of riff sounds 70s to me. Like that. And then we play the kind of verse turnaround. And then I play this little riff. A little triplet there. Um, so we go an E, G, A. And then we play the F with the thumb and we go. Play all that on top with the fingers. So, once more from the top of the solo. So we're going, and anyone who knows the double stops will see that's right out of the double stop scale. So we're just sliding. 3rd fret, 3rd fret to the 5th fret, 5th fret on the 4th and 2nd strings and then up to this little double stop B and G and then slide, resolve into the C and then we go back up resolve into the G there the thumb on the G note so we're keeping the chords going you know, during this whole solo and then we come up here A minor 7 chord, played like that, open A, and then we have G, C, E, and a high C. Sliding down to an F suspended chord. And then we play the little uh, verse tag. end with this little phrase. So what I'm doing there is I'm basically playing but I'm, I'm kind of doing it with open strings. So it's F, open E, D, C, open B, a little slide to an A, Open G, F, E, D, A, B, C. It's one of my favorite little things to do is put a little open strings in there like that. <laughs> do it all the time. So we go on. Real slow. Minus seven for the chorus. Three, four. And then we go into the, the chorus again. So we've pretty much covered the whole song. So I'm going to kind of play it through nice and slowly right now. And I hope you can just see all the moves and, and have an easier time understanding what's going on. Like I said, there's tab linked below. And please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm enjoying posting tutorials like this. 
Let's walk it through, starting for the, from the intro. let it be. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks very much for watching. Take care out there.